Yeah! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! You're on top. Go ahead. Dude! I have never had someone shoot champagne up my butt, man. Welcome to adulthood. <laughs> You're not driving home, are you? I, I, I was planning on it. Excuse me, sir. Right. Can you pull over? All right. First, wait, wait. First of all, uh, ready? First of all, 2008 yes. Auto Club Late Model Champion Tim Huddleston. Thank Tim, you. Before we get to the fun stuff, because there's gonna be so. This is the bottom line here, dude. Yeah. This is not the way. Even though you won a championship, this isn't the way you wanted to win a championship. You bet. Rain short and 51 yeah. laps, but. You still got the thing done. Hey, you know what? The W is a W. I'd love to, you know, we were racing really hard with Andrew there for the win, so at least uh, we came to race and we came to win. And uh, High Point did it. Four straight championships. Unbelievable. Race Car Factory, Vinny. I mean, this is just an unbelievable deal. It's a dynasty. Tim Huddleston, though, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question that, and, and you know, we're friends and I love yeah. you, man, but I'm going to ask you a question that a lot of people are thinking out here. You and, and Janitis running for a championship, yep. not Myers. Yes. You get into him before this thing gets started, right in the early part of this race. You yep. get into him. What happened on that? 10-4. We were coming for the uh, turn one, and I was going for the middle groove because my spotter was saying, hey, you got one on the inside. So we were three wide going into one. He had the high line, I had the middle, and the bottom, Andrew had the bottom. So we were racing three wide, racing at Irwindale. Doesn't get any better than that. You guys have been racing fair all yeah. year. You guys have been battling all year. I know that, that Nick has already won the Super Late Model Championship. He wanted to double up. That could have helped him with his national championship yep. thing here. I mean, let's be yeah. honest. You bet. He's got some hurt feelings over this thing. Yeah, what do you got to say? I mean, if you're looking at this right now, what do you got to say to Nick Janitis? You know what? Nick Janitis is a class act. We've been racing for 20 years together, and it's pretty awesome to race with a class act like that. And when you look at it, one, two, three in the race, that was one, two, three in the points. It doesn't lay down any better than that. Okay, now we're going to get back to the positive <laughs> side. All right. <laughs> All right. This is this is okay this is not this is not an easy climate to get sponsors. Yeah. I mean, you see the Navy leaving Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, yeah. in the Sprint Cup series. I mean, I'm sorry, in the Nationwide series, you see a lot of big time racers that are on the major level having trouble keeping sponsors. Justice Brothers has been good to you over the last couple of years, and I know you got a special place in your heart for them, especially this year after losing Ed Justice Sr. You bet. It was an amazing year, and I know Ed was following us tonight, and he was up there telling him Ed Justice sent you. He did a lot of a lot of amazing things for motorsports. He was the very first sponsor of race of NASCAR, and we're sure proud to be here to get him another NASCAR championship. Without Justice Brothers and good people like the Justice Brothers family, it would certainly be a tough, tough thing out there because they sure, certainly help a lot of young racers. Dude, I've been watching you for three years, <laughs> right? I mean, I've been watching you for three years since I've been lucky enough to have part of this deal here. Yeah. There's one guy in the NHRA that everybody knows because <laughs> not because he was one the most championships right. in the funny car, yeah. but because he's the best spokesman for the NHRA. If I'm saying to you, Tim Huddleston, you're basically the John Force of this series, of this track, how good is that? Well, you know what? All I can tell you is I'm proud of this place, and I'm proud of the racers that race here. I really am, and I look forward to coming and racing here every day, and I will never race anywhere else. We can pave that concrete back there and put a 50 on it, because I'm going to be here for a long, long time. One thing before we let you get out of here. It's starting to rain again. You got a whole bunch of people. They don't care whether it was shortened by rain. This is four in a row. Your family's here. Your kids yeah. are here. Your best friends are here. Your sponsors are here. Is this any better than the first one? You know what? I tell you what, it doesn't get old. And I had Travis Thurkettle talking in my ear that whole time, and he was our 06 champion, and I can't tell you how much he kept me calm because I was running out of patience every now and again. And his championship year certainly helped me, and we done it together. And I'll tell you what. Last week was an amazing, amazing night. We were down and out. We had a little altercation coming off of four, racing hard with Nick. It wasn't anything intentional. It was hard racing, and the clutch went out. Let me tell you, it was over. It was a dark day. I was sitting down in the infield of that track, rolling at about 20 miles an hour, and the clutch was just spinning and spinning and spinning. It took everything I had to get off the racetrack. And in... Uh, Sometimes being an old dog, you learn some tricks down your way. This is 22 years of racing here. And back in 1993, my brother-in-law, Cal Northrup, we had a clutch go out. And he came on the radio and said, pull to the pit. He jumped into there with a fire extinguisher and shot the fire extinguisher into the clutch. So I came down the front straightaway screaming, get a fire extinguisher, get a fire extinguisher. My guys are going, man, is it on fire? I said, no, I want you to shoot it in the clutch. They're like, what? I said, you got to shoot it in the clutch. I came in, they filled that whole clutch up with fire extinguisher fluid. 
Well, they dropped the car, I let the clutch out, and it started rolling, baby. Let me tell you what. And, and I mean, it was just, you know, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Yep. We, ran, we raced the last 38 laps of that race without a caution because I couldn't have had one. And it was a, that was a championship right now, right there. Some people call him John Force. Some people call him the Jack Roush of Toyota Speedway at Erndale with his 57 teams. But this year, 2008, once again, you can call Tim Huddleston your champion for Toyota Speedway's Auto Club Late Model Series. Congratulations, my Thank friend. Thank you, Irwindale. We love you. We'll see you next year. Take that. No budget TV. That's not like that. What's that? Right on. Come on, guys. Some more pictures. Huh? Yeah. Come on, break here. That was cool.